Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. We are so very happy to be with you again here today. Yeah, I'm going to... And I am at Hawaii today. Yeah, she looks like Hawaii today, and I have my Harry Potter Hogwarts yeah. shirt on. Yeah, Harry yeah. Potter. My mom doesn't have Harry Potter, but my, but my, uh, dad, I have Harry Potter. My, my, my dad, dad has, has given my mom mm. Harry Potter. Yeah, she's, she's saying that he gifted me the shirt. Yeah. yeah, and my That's true because he knows I love Harry Potter. Yeah, and they married. <laughs> yes, we got married this weekend. That passed on Sun, uh, Saturday, the twenty first of November. Sunday. No, it was a Saturday, my love. I. Yeah, it's on my birthday. Birthday. Mm -hmm. Sad because Sunday. Okay. Well, today we already have another beautiful story for you guys again today. It is so beautiful. It's called the parable of the lost drachma. Uh, Luke 15, verse 18 to 10. It is a beautiful Luke. story. Yes. Luke, now, think. Luke. Luke. Oh. Why <laughs> okay. do I think always about Luke? I don't know. I'm a Luke too. <laughs> Let me give, yeah. you, give me my hand, wait, uh, your hand. We're going to quickly go pray. Wait. Okay. I just want to say things. Yes, that's part of our story today. Hold on. <laughs> you shouldn't have showed it yet. <laughs> but I did. Yeah, see you soon. Okay, let's pray. Okay, give me your hand. Okay. Dear Mother, Father, God, thank you so much for this blessed day that you have bestowed upon us. Thank you for another beautiful story that we get to share with everybody and take the lesson that you want us to learn from it. Bless us so that we can deliver this message as you want it, my Lord. And please be with everybody that we know. Bless them and keep them safe. In good times and in bad, we will always love you, Lord, because you are our creator. You are the Lord of everything, of every person on this earth, of every being, of every living creature. Thank you for this opportunity. And we ask that we can start in your name, if it is your will, and so it is. Okay, let's start with our story. There was a woman who was very poor. All she had was ten drachmas. The drachma used to be the very small Greek coin, which was also used in the land where Jesus used to live, because there were many people from Greece who lived there and used the coin. The poor woman took care of these coins because they were going to be used to pay the expenses of her house. Unfortunately, one day she opened a little safe where she used to keep the coins and she found only nine coins. What would have happened to the other coins? She lit her oil lamp. She lit her oil lamp and started search for the coin all over the house. She searched for it among the clothes, and she got the broom, and she pushed the furniture, and uh, the furniture and started to sweep the whole house trying to find it. Finally, she found the lost coin. She was so happy that she's going to be able to pay all her expenses. This jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Yes. <laughs> she was not worried anymore, and she put it back with the other coins. She told all of her friends, who were also poor, about what had happened. <laughs> After all, she lost coin. Uh, she, one coin lost would make the, a big difference. She told her neighbors, "My friends rejoice with me because I have found the drachma that I have lost." That is why. That is what happens among the angels of God when a sinner is sorry for the mistakes he had committed. That is what Jesus tells us in the gospel. This parable, just like the others, the other one we studied before about the lost sheep, wants yeah. to teach us that we should be sorry for the wrong things that we do. The story wants to show us that there is a good God who wants to save us from our sins and wrongdoings. If a poor woman does all that, she can, she can, can all that she can, she can to find a lost coin. <laughs> she does not rest until she finds it. Don't you think that God is also searching for us in the dark rooms of our lives without resting? 
God also lights an oil lamp and he illuminates us because he because, because we are his lost brahma he wants to find us he wants us for him and for his kingdom he wants us to eternal he wants us to the eternal happiness that is waiting for us and that is why god wants to shine his light on earth that is why god has an army of celestial benefactors who are the good spirits they are constantly inspiring us with good thoughts. They are always helping us and teaching us about the divine will and his messages. The spiritual benefactors are just like the oil lamps. They are the lost drachma. We are the ground in, in the dust of our mistakes. We are far from the light and the truth, which is God. But our spiritual friends illuminate us if we trust them, if we accept God's light, if we are truly sorry for the wrongs, that we've done they will take very good care of us and they will find us they will be so happy there will be so much happiness in heaven among our spirit friends when our souls leave darkness of our mistakes and accept the light of truth think about all this very carefully if you feel like a little a, a little lost drachma if you recognize your defects of imperfection do not hide from the light of truth which is in Jesus. Allow the divine messengers to find you. If you do that, you will make them very happy and yourself very happy too. Yeah. So it's like the same as the lost sheep. She lost her little drachma and because of that, she searched everywhere. That's how God is with us, right? Yeah, we. <laughs> yes, yeah, we are just like, we are just like these little coins in this little bag. We're all together, but if one of us, if, if one of us get lost, God will do anything to find us. Yeah. Because we are so important to him. And he will yeah. send an army of angels to help. Right? That's how important each and every one of us. Like that little drachma yes, about that yeah. lady. Yeah. Yeah, ma. Yeah. I never heard about that. And time for a song. You want to sing a song? I just want to finish this this uh, little piece here. So yes, it is again a very beautiful, humbling story. But thank, thank you, Mom. <laughs> Hold on. Thanks. Hold on. It is a very no. pleasing. It's a very pleasing uh, story again about what God wants us to do. And I think to follow God's will and to follow God's um, messages like this. This is a very beautiful story. Again, exactly the same as the sheep right yeah we should never get lost yeah. <laughs> we should never get lost we should always remember to look for the beautiful and remember the beautiful messages now why did you did you do two lost stories no i didn't do two stories it's one story it's well okay well yes you're right because two it's the stories of the lost one yeah well, I think it's because it's so important that, that God wants us to remember that no matter how far we stray or how far we get lost, he'll always come and find us. So I think that's why, because it's so important. It's an important lesson. Again, you can find the story in the Bible as well. It's Luke 15, verse 8 to 10. Mm. Not Luke B. <laughs> Not Luke B. Mm. Yeah. Do you want to sing us a song mm. today? Yeah. What is that? I don't know. Do you want to sing a song today? Yes. How about? He has the world in his hands. Yeah. Okay. One, two, three. He has the whole world in his hands. He got the whole world in his hands. He got the whole world in his hands. He got the whole world in his hands. He's got the tiny little baby. In his hands, he's got the tiny little baby. In his hands, he's got the tiny little baby. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
the light. Yeah. The little lights that shine everywhere. Yeah, don't forget. Yeah, we are all very important to him. Now, why is, is this link? I don't know. But thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys again for tuning in with me and Zelly for another beautiful lesson. We hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. And like I said, if you want to go read it with mom and dad, go read it in the Bible. Again, it is Luke 15, verse 8 to 10. Yeah. <laughs> Love you guys so much. See you again next Sunday. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.